to the beach house. Today I'm going to be making this awesome cool toy. With my head in the clouds and my feet on the back, we go chasing the sun and we'll follow the map. When this world's got me feeling small, I'll be sure to tell my story whenever our adventure comes. Do you know what this is? What? Something really cool for you. Can I open it? Yeah, you can open it. Ah. This is a blueprint. Do you know what a blueprint is? Mm -hmm. The blueprint is the plans and design of how to make something. This is what you're going to be making today. There's all the materials that you're going to need already in there. They're all included. And here's the instructions. So, so what are we going to build? This. What yep. does it do? You're building an automaton. I do not know what that is. You're gonna find out. This is how you build it, but before we get started building it, let's read a little bit about it, okay? okay? There's this really cool book here that teaches us about automatons. And the word automaton comes from a Greek word meaning self-moving. Many ancient Greek myths feature automatons, including talking statues, mechanical horses, and a giant bronze eagle. So that is a thing that goes inside the night and makes it like turn the head and stand up and sit down. That's pretty cool, huh? So we're learning learning about automatons in history and there's a whole bunch of really cool machines that have been made throughout the history. This book about automatons, there's this little robot boy, there's this man that created it and sent it to a place and they, some people found it and gave it to some experimenters and it drew pictures. It was that big, exact that big and it drew that right there and it drew that and now it's in a place it's by this man in french and it got transferred into this town now that we've learned a ton about the history of automatons there's actually a lot of cool things that you can make not just the thing that we saw in the blueprint but other cool things that you can make with the box too that we're going to test out you ready to get started yeah let's first get started on this so we can empty out the box you want to first make the cool big automaton all right. <laughs> That's gonna tell you what you need and what the first step is. Okay, so it says. Start here. Yep, it says start here. A, build the frame. And that has all the instructions of what you're gonna need. So let's get out those items so that we make sure that we have everything we need to start it out and build the frame. Tall support piece, short support piece, sides, cardboard brace, cardboard spacers, cardboard locking piece, and sticky foam squares. I think these are the cardboard spacers. There's supposed to be seven of them. So let's punch out those cardboard spacers and then we're also going to need this which is called the cardboard locking piece. It's the same as right there and there's the spacers. We got the tall and short support piece and the side walls and everything else is cut out. So now it's time to build the frame. Step one says lay out the two support pieces with the slits at the top. Flip the pieces so the notches face out. So they've got the tall one on the left, see the tall one here and the short one here with the notches facing out. Stick a sticky foam square under each slit. You'll use eight foam squares in all. So do you see where to put them? Right here underneath the little slits. So this is what I really wanted to do my whole life because I've been building cardboard stuff almost ever since I was six. It's been so fun and I've been learning so much stuff. And airplanes, how there's like things like that to make it fly and go up. I've learned stuff like that and this is like telling me stories about the world. Things before electronics happened. It's just amazed me so much about this. Now let's take a look at the next step. Step three says, take the tall support piece and flip it over. Slide the walls into the slits and press down firmly to lock in place. 
Ah, these little rubber pads kind of help make it Hold tighter. It there and it's not like wobbling around. Okay, do it to the other side now too. Now wait, before you do the next one, it says place the cardboard brace, that's this piece right here, between the walls and into the angled slits. Okay, now slide the walls into the short support and press down. Now, step six. Slide the seven cardboard spacers into the vertical slits in the walls. Push the spacers all the way through so the notches stick out the other side. Make sure the notch is on the top right. Got these punched out here. Let's do it in the same way that this picture is. So on the left side is where it goes up. Now let's push them in just like that. Yep. I'm gonna play with this a lot. Okay, perfect. And the final step says, turn the frame around, slide the cardboard locking piece down into the notches to hold the spacers in place. See how this goes like that? Oh. Okay, just like that, but slide it into place. Okay, we've got the spacer in place, so now these are secure, and we're completely done with step one. Now it's time to move on to step two. Build the crank. What you're gonna need is the crank. Where's the crank? Okay, there's the crank. We need six cans, 12 rubber O-rings, and four sticky foam strips. Turn the frame around so the short side is on the right. Slide the crank in through the short side. Perfect. Slide an O-ring onto the crank. Push it over to the notch closest to the handle. Slide it all the way to the far notch. Perfect, right there. Slide a cam onto the crank. Make sure it's facing down. Push it over until it stops against the O-ring. Slide on another O-ring and push it over the notch by the cam. You see what that means? So we're gonna put a cam right there and then another O-ring on the other side of the cam. Make sure it's facing down, yep, perfect. Now put another O-ring on the other side of the cam. Slide on another O-ring to the next notch, then line up another cam so that it's facing up, then add another O-ring. Keep on going until you have all six cams on. Make sure the cams alternate facing up and down. They're not sideways, they're up and down. That's gonna be perfect, James. Good job. Okay, step six. Look for the two wide notches at the end of the crank. Sandwich the one closest to the cams between two strips of sticky foam. And then you've got two strips of sticky foam, sandwich them together. So I'm gonna kinda hold that up for you to do that. Put one on top. Yep, try to make it right in the middle. Good, that looks great. Okay, now do one on the other side. Here, how about you turn it? Okay, smart. And then pinch the sides together. Perfect. Okay. Slide the end of the crank through the other side of the frame, and then it says add two more sticky foams to hold the crank in place. And that's the end of building the crank. If you're wanting to spin it, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's holding it in place. Good job. Time to build the stairs. We're almost done. Build the stairs. So what you're gonna need is the stair pieces. Okay, here's the stair pieces. Stickers. Here's the stickers. Shoot piece. And some more sticky foam squares. Shoot piece. Yep, there's the shoot piece. Perfect. Okay, so different tall piece. Tallest to shortest, step one. Stand up the stair pieces from the tallest to shortest. Note that the tallest piece is shaped differently. Turn the stair pieces so they're all slant down to the left. Make sure the tallest piece is on the left and the shortest is on the right. Attach a sticker to the bottom of each stair piece. We're gonna put the tallest on this side, so like that is how they're gonna be placed inside. But wait, don't place it in yet. So they're gonna stay like this, but this one is gonna go like that. And this one is gonna go like that. And this one's gonna go like that. Do you see what I'm doing? So they're still tallest to shortest, but they're all slanting to the left. So they kind of make that kind of interesting pattern there. Kind of put them all down like that, and then let's put a sticker on the bottom of each one. Perfect. Okay, now where does it go? Good job. Last one is right. 
Okay, good job. So in the next step, stick a sticky foam square above both notches of the shoot piece. And then flip the shoot piece so the foam faces down and then slide it into frame so the notches connect. So yeah, go ahead and put those on there into these two notches right here. The foam facing down, so like that. So the foam is facing down. Perfect. We're almost there. It says put it all together. Now we need the three balls. It says place the balls onto the stairs. Turn the crank and watch the balls climb. When they reach the top, they'll roll back down the chute and start climbing again. Oh. Okay. Okay. Ready? <laughs> wow. This is so awesome. I like the remote controlled balls. How can a ball climb upstairs? So if it's facing down, it'll go down. And then when you turn it, it'll turn this on the slicky bottom of this. Mm -hmm. and then it'll go up and then it'll roll down onto the next and then go up. So it's, the ball keeps rolling down, but it's the stairs that are moving. And then this makes it slide back down. That's awesome! <laughs> I want to show Corbin my cool new thing. Whoa. Can I try? Those two are married. <laughs> Those two are married. That's a single. I want to give a big thank you for KiwiCo for sending this awesome Tinker Cake. If you want to know how to get some yourself, check in the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching the Beat Toast, guys. Let me know if you want to see more automation projects. Bye. When we were kids, just hanging at the playground, when all we